I don't recall the food in the chow hall as being unusually good or bad. There was always plenty of it. Greeks prepared it for us, and there were some young Greek women there who would clean up the tables after us and flirt with the GIs, and that was kind of a fun thing. But I do remember the milk. The milk was brought over in powdered form. We called it, I think it was, recombined milk. And at best, it was awful. Awful tasting stuff. You get accustomed to it after a while, but you can't ever really like it. You tolerate it. But every now and then, the milk would be sour. And you take one swig of sour milk, and I'll tell you, it's enough to swear you off the milk for life. But you have that experience about one time, and you get into the habit of walking into the chow hall after that, and looking over to your left. If you see any of the uncleared tables still with full glasses of milk on them, then you know today is a sour milk day. Stay away from it. The Greek guys who were preparing our food and running the chow hall were really generous with us. If we wanted to go down to Florida Beach, for example, and spend the night, and there were four of us, we would tell the guys, we're going to be down there for breakfast and for lunch, and could we have some food? And if there were four of us, and we were going to, in combined total, miss eight meals, then... They would give us enough food for eight meals. They were really good that way. Yeah, I don't remember too much bad about the chow hall other than that milk. Man, that stuff was awful.